For example, just checking our email requires a two-factor authentication. It's become very cumbersome, but that is the price that we pay for the uh, collaboration that we have with the military. I have been invited here to give you a presentation of the work that I do. If you look at the abstract, I originally submitted it thinking that I was going to do a purely scientific presentation. When I found out that they wanted me to do a keynote, I decided to do some slight modification to my presentation. Typically, when someone does a keynote, they're not just summarizing their research work, talking about the results. They try to broaden out the perspective of the work that they do. And so by broadening, what I mean and what I would like to present to you this morning is to share with you what it means to do research. Now oftentimes, we get caught into a particular research topic and it's because we are either very interested in it for a variety of reasons. My research interest started because my relative developed Parkinson's disease. So I became very interested in studying Parkinson's. Other people develop an interest in a research topic because of their clinical experience. They spend many, many years specializing in an area of practice and they see a lot of problems, they ask a lot of questions, there is no answer or very little of it in the scientific literature. So for some people, their research interest started that way. What I want to share with you this morning in terms of the research perspective is to ask this question, when you ask a research question, obviously you want your research and your results to come back and answer what you originally were asking. But what happens when the information is shared with the scientific community? 